If you like what you see, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and comment for YouTube video suggestions. Because if you like what you see here, you're going to want to hear a lot more from us. So please do so. And also, share on Facebook, because that means a lot to us, and it goes a long way. Trust me. Now, to the show. I'm Corey. I'm Jillian. And we're Living, Living in Diz. Diz. Today, we're all about Park Fun at Epcot. It's uh, Jillian and Daddy. It's like a daddy-daughter dance all around Epcot. With my baby girl! Stop, oh. I get so triggered. Stop! She doesn't like that. Let's go find some hidden Mickeys and see whatever else we find. And just come along with us and enjoy Disney through the eyes of our family. Let's go! Well So yes, here's the line going into Epcot, but this is the start of it, and that curls, that's like a quarter mile away, and comes all the way back around to this. So if you're trying to come to Epcot, um, expect about a 10 minute wait. It moves pretty quickly, but expect a wait because of food and wine. I was wondering why there are a lot of people here at Guest Relations in the morning, which is just behind the Epcot ball. But it's for this. It's guest relations and check-in for my Disney Experience um, day of dining reservations for different things. Much new to update you on here, but just in case you were wondering, no new developments for Guardians of the Galaxy. It's all still ripped open. Our first pass passes mission space, so why not use it, right? Right. We got it for a reason. Why did that do that? So there's an example. Our fast pass turn blue because she said we were 19 minutes late so I, I guess it's true but there I've said this in other videos Disney will still let you through yeah but like I didn't even know that we were 19 minutes late as you can see I'm not wearing my Apple watch today so I don't know the time and as like, you can see she's not wearing her Apple watch it is right it's embarrassing when they tell you uh, you're late <laughs> we don't like to we don't like that to happen here's the loading area for mission space. There are three different loading areas. Oh, hello. You have anything to say about anything? Yeah, actually, I have no clue why Disney has these out. They're pointless, they're useless. They really are useless. I mean, when you really look at these green tickets, it's like, what are they for? It says you must have a launch ticket. Um, I wonder if it means, I don't know. Like, we have green, they have orange, so that's more intense. This is less intense. And the bacteria. I want to wash my hands right now. Oh, don't be a germaphobe. I am Freak. One I am one dog. <laughs> it's good to be aware, so but... Well, we, we could talk about the, um, the fingerprint um, at the oh, beginning. Oh, yeah. I would certainly, I don't think we have to tell any of you guys these. You probably wash your hands or sanitize after you put your finger on the fingerprint because how many, uh, how many times have people hit that before you have? But back to these green tickets. I really don't see the logic behind them. Um, because you just go in line and they just take it from you, so... It says, expected mothers should not ride. If you are uncertain whether your mission less intense training is right for you, proceed to the advanced training lab, which offers alternative space training activities for all astronaut candidates. That's useless. Because, like, it's literally right there when you get off the ride. Or you can just, like, ride past the experience which is the street. So we just finished mission space. One thing I wanted to say was, how many of you guys just kind of go on and sit there and just go for the ride or how many of you are interactive because I have a lot of fun just playing with the buttons we go through a little check we role play we role kinda. play we talk about you know um, our training coming up to that mission and what we've done and um, we congratulate everybody when when you 
when you perform your part of the mission successfully. Um, it's just more fun and yeah. it really enhances the experience. So what do you do? Let us know in the comments below. Do you sit there and enjoy the ride or do you play along? We're on the quest for cheese popcorn at the popcorn cart. Let's go. Here's our first not so hidden Mickey that we found. Right up there in the sign of mouse gear. There's our second hidden Mickey of the day. It's more of a Mickey hat, but it's considered a hidden Mickey. And that one is right at the character meet where you meet the Mickey spot where you meet Mickey and you meet Baymax and Joy and Sadness. Right there. So the line is too long and we don't have much time. So we're not going to wait in line to meet Baymax, Joy and Sadness. But this is what it looks like. Is the Baymax area. There's the line as San they wait. San Francisco. San Francisco. And there's a little bit of joy and sadness along with the line. There are the, the memory balls. We'll go in and meet them sometime. Why, Disney? I mean, I love you. The price has gone up to $2. It seems to go up about a quarter every time we come. And we come to Epcot typically once a month. When's the madness gonna stop? You've heard it here first from Living in Diz. Breaking news. Disney is going to start charging you one penny for every extra step you take after you reach 50,000 steps. What do you think about that? Just kidding. Just kidding. I hope I didn't just give them an idea, though. The great time filler of Epcot. Let's go ride Nemo. Bag issues. Let's go explore the big blue world! Nemo! Where are you, Nemo? Fish! Jellyfish! It's Titanic, oh no. Stop fooling around! I think there was a time where he used to pop out, but maybe Disney stopped it because it scared too many kids. It's Ronald Reagan! This is where you have the actual fish tank where they've superimposed the Nemo characters. Ooh, there's a real shark. Amongst other things that you can do after the Nemo ride, you can go upstairs and get a better look at all the fish. Here's the manatee area. We can learn about manatees and if you time it right, you can watch them at dinner time. Or snack time. Or lunch time. Doesn't that look good? This one's eating a little bit right now. Oh my. That is the biggest stingray I have ever seen. That is the biggest stingray I've ever seen. What? Wait, no. That's a stingray? Oh. That thing is huge. That's a stingray? Yes. What? Just to give an example, that thing is so big, I could probably lie down on the center of him, spread my arms and legs out, and I don't Ooh, think I would touch all four the dude's doing points that. of him. Here comes the shark. Ah, oh, he's going to turn around. He's teasing us. 35 minute wait for Soren on a Saturday afternoon. We'll take it with no fast pass. So our, our wait for um, Soren was more like 20 minutes instead of the 35 because this is just a little tip for you. Always keep an ear out for what um, how many riders they're looking for because they were crying out for two and I heard that. I raised my hand and we got to the front of the line and it speeded up our trip or sped up our trip. Um, so keep that in mind. 80 minute test track time. Stand by. We have a fast pass. Jill and I have never created a car together. What kind of car will we create today? Designs by Jill. There's the final product. Not as pretty as I thought. But she's gonna be fast. That is gonna be the best picture ever. I just wanted to talk about the weather for a second here. So today, I don't even know what the temperature is. 
but a feel like temperature right now. 70s. Feels like the 70s with a light, cool breeze. Perfect day today. Overcast. It was 60 earlier. It's Florida, and I can say I have not dropped one bead of sweat on my back from my backpack. It's perfect today. Also, we're into late October now, and I almost ran over a kid. Watch your kids. I almost um, ran over a kid. So, anyway, my other tip was we still bring our ponchos because it's Florida. It can rain any time, but... We're never really concerned about the weather at this point in the year. For the next few months from end of October, I don't know, through February at least. No rain, um, at, all. No no rain, rain at all. So we still bring the ponchos, like I said, but we hardly ever break them out. We don't even look at the weather to see what's going to happen. That's how, that's how good it is. Ah, uh, the smells of the Mexican pavilion. We love, love it in here, right? Yeah, I love it. We love it in here because it just smells good. And it's like Mexico at night. It's really cool. And you can shop. It's really nice. And there's a restaurant in the back. It's really, really cool like that. There's also a ride that we like to do every time we come here. Yeah, Grand Fiesta Tour. What are we here for? We're at the Joy of Tea, just outside of China. In China. Well, we're kind of just outside of China. It is in China. What are you here for? Bubble milk tea. Bubble milk tea. Peach flavored black tea with tapioca pearls. We're gonna give that a try. We've got a close up on the lips. <laughs> Look at that. So, this is bubble tea. What are your thoughts? It's very good. I've had it once before the last time we went to Epcot. It is very good, so I had to. Come here and get it again. <laughs> yeah. So, it must taste like peach, right? Because there's peach in it. And explain the tapioca pearls, like how big they are and the consistency of them. Um... Kind, of kind of like this big. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, it's really... It's really hard to explain the texture of the tapioca pearls. It's like really squishy and jelly-like. But like... If you bite into it, like, you have to bite a little harder than you would normal jelly because it's, like, a little thicker. This has, like, a nice coffee taste to it, too, I think. A little, like a frozen coffee. I think it's the, the tapioca. Yeah, and then the straw, as you can see, is big enough because it needs to be to get the little tapioca balls there. You can see them pearls. right there. The pearls. The pearls. And, um... Yeah, they're chewy. It, it, it's, if you're funny with that kind of consistency thing, it might not be the thing for you, but um, it's pretty good. It's different. It's unique. Um, and there's a little peach flavor. So to me, you kind of get the coffee taste initially, and then the peach kind of kicks in about right now. So six ninety five or so over there. I um, say it's in worth front it. Front of China. Um, Jillian loves in it. In China. So she says it's worth it. So try it sometime. That's going to do it for this video today. Park fun. We found some hidden Mickeys. We tried some bubble tea. Told you what we thought about that. A little food review there. Um, and just had some park fun. Rode some rides. Had a good time. And um, I think that's about it for today. We're here in the middle of the food and wine festival. Um, we are in Germany. We're at the beginning of Germany. I wanted to really try some of that Indian bread today. We were not able to. Wine, I'm sorry. We're on a time frame. Yeah, we're on a time frame today, so I promise. We will next time. We promise. She's taking the words out of my mouth, so I guess I don't have to say any more about that. Until then, I'm Corey. I'm Julie. And we're living, living in Disney. Diz. Again, make sure you like, subscribe. Turn on the notification bell and comment for future videos. Because if you like what you see, you're going to want to see a lot more of us. And also, share us on Facebook because it goes a long way. It and we'll love you for it. Yes, it does. And again, thank you. And, and keep enjoying Disney through the eyes of our family.